Well, here we are. We're back. We are pulling out of the gate. <clears throat> it's early. Uh, 5.30. Got a phone call yesterday evening. One of our clients had a machine go down. So, uh, we are... We got to push our curve machine move. We got to go get this machine first. Get them back up and running. Well, we're not getting the, the down machine. We're getting the replacement machine. Get them back up and running. Then we'll uh, go run and get our curve machine and get it moved. I've got those concrete molds on the back. I was just out there looking at those, trying to think what the heck I'm going to do. we got to go get an excavator for a track hoe. And those things are in the way of the boom. So, I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get there. We're going to stop and get some fuel and uh, get to the job site. This excavator loaded up, get it relocated. We got to go to a super skinny job. Tough one to get in and out of. We can't unload on the road. So that's going to be a challenge to get in there. But as always, we're going to get it done. So first stop, racetrack, get some motion lotion. And keep on moving. Let's go. We're here. I pulled the truck around this corner, turned it off because we've got to do some figuring. So, as I was saying, I've got to figure out how to get that that big Komatsu loaded up. Normally, the bucket goes all the way up there. I'm hoping I can set the bucket here. And just lay the boom lay the boom in between here hopefully that works i need to go check out the hook situation on this machine because there's one machine they have that does not have tie down hooks up underneath so i may have to chain to the tracks in which case i would need a different size chain and I hope this guy isn't going to ruin my day by backing into my stuff. <clears throat> Alright, this one does have tie down hooks. Come on, Warner. You can do it, buddy. Maybe I should walk over here and help him a little bit. Dang, this guy's coming back around, too. All right, we're trying to help him out. We got our truck. The truck was over there. We got it moved way up here. Got to give him a little more swinging room. I can't do much about my trailer right now. We're already detached. I got things I got to do too, so. He'll make it now though. <clears throat> yeah, he should make that. We can back up again if he needs to. Yeah, he'll make it. All right. Time for us to figure out what we got to do. I'm going to unchain those molds. Pull them out some. I think I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use 8-foot chains for the machine. Let's get her done. This was the operator that loaded 
those tree stumps on the trailer that was a heck of a job he did a good job at it too that was a filthy job and a heck of a job for sure i hope this works out i do not feel like unloading these because then i have to come back here to get them it's going to slow everything down so fingers crossed hopefully this works out well It may be tall enough it sits over top of me. Let me get backed up there. We'd have to go at least a foot. Uh, let me pull these up as far as I can. Without freaking causing a hernia. Yeah, baby. I'm pretty sure that's going to get it. Yeah, we're going to be right there. All right. It's going to work. Now we got to get everything tied down. That's the hard part up here. I can't get my cross chains in because the bucket so i'm probably just going to tie to the tracks and call that one a day so 
that's what we're gonna do. Let's go. <laughs> exactly like it but I like this end it's what we got booms tied down they can't argue with me there now we just got to flag this thing and hit the dusty trail all right well we didn't want to do this but there's a the mailbox there's a the mailbox this is just tight man we got it we got it partially in it's just going to be quicker to do it this way and be careful on the asphalt hey watch, watch these molds when you're coming up ideal but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and that's what we did here getting all that stuff out of here goodness gracious that's gonna be they got a 360 in there we brought the 360 in through that gate <laughs> try to get out that gate or pre-plan it and take those mailboxes down or something I don't know alrighty got all the sweat dried off just to do it again <laughs> let's see how this did oh yeah that's tight we are on the job site where these four ways belong so I can get rid of those and pick up that Pick up that curb machine there, get it over to Tampa area-ish, Tampa-ish. Oh, I haven't used my new chains on it yet. I think all the four-footers would work. We're going to start with that, see what happens. So far, it looks like it's all ready. All this is pulled in, that's pulled in. See, they left some trash here. There's a chain up there for some reason. Oh, they 
got that chain for. I did use these, I did use these big hooks on uh, this machine the other day. They get it here, I believe. I just now remember that. I had one of them come loose on me. Shoot, with this machine I can get away with There she is. Two molds, curb machine. Now, some of you guys might be looking at that and saying, you're not all the way on the deck. But this height here is what determines this up and down. And we're tied to here. So we're solid on the deck with our tie down. This rises and falls, which rises and falls all this. And that has us tight on the ground. So double check these things. The other day y'all saw that we did have one got loose on me. It was this one here. I still think that mini curb may have been a saboteur. That joker's tight. Let's hit the road. Well, we are going to take Highway 60. It didn't make much sense. We were already within a mile and a half of being at Highway 60 where we picked this machine up from. And I-4 is long way the other way.
heavy load. But what I'm looking at right now, I don't look too happy. Bucket and forks. I thought it was just a bucket. <clears throat> but it's not it's bucket and forks at least the forks are on it but look inside the bucket i can't be toting that stuff that stuff is freaking holy crap that's got some weight to it yeah well, hell's bells. And I gotta run over that sidewalk to get it. I guess I'm just gonna dump it out of there. I don't know what the I don't know what else to do. There's no taking it with us. That's for sure. I don't mind uh I don't mind a little bit of sketchiness, but <laughs> there it is. That's, uh, that's something. So, we're going to detach. We're going to have to spread these forks out. They spread pretty good the last time, though. We'll pick up that bucket. Somehow get all that garbage out of it. Load her up and go. Look at this stuff, man. Love bugs. Look at that. Dang it. Well, y'all check this out. We got a broken trailer. I saw this the other day. I thought it was a grease fitting in there. Looks like this one's breaking too. See how that's separating here? There's a pin that goes through here, holds this bottom cylinder. This one got sheared off, and I just climbed underneath here and looked up, and that pin is sliding out. It slid out this far. I don't know how much further I've got to go before it's all the way out but that ain't no good i gotta try to get that fixed tonight hopefully Now we go to the trailer repair store. Well, we're here. We got her disconnected. Look at there. The old girl's still with us. She ain't going nowhere. Just giving her a little, giving her a small little break. What we're gonna do is hook this up, disconnect the neck. He doesn't want to do any welding on this trailer hooked to the new truck just in case because they all got all that fancy computer crap in it now Yeah, I do have to service it because I got to pull the pin. The pin won't pull without air, so yes. 
We do have to sweep this. It smells like a real truck. Burning real fuel. Oh, hey, girl. Oh, he's been using her for a yard dog. AC blowing cold. I should take these glasses and put them in my other truck. I need a pair. I miss this old girl. Can you hear the turbo? Oh, she pretty. That mechanical throttle is a lot different than what I'm using now. That's for sure. <laughs> All righty. Let me see. Pull the pin to release. She's not releasing right now. Put a little pressure on her. There it went. Yep. There it went. Good thing this truck was here because I don't really want him welding. He doesn't want to weld on the trailer with. Oh, I haven't forgotten about the no leg room. <laughs> He's got to move another vehicle out. We're just going to see if we can pull apart and go pick that neck up a little bit. So, what have we found, Steve? It's just the bolts even there. The, the bolts washer there? Yeah, the washer broke. So just this, just this, uh, the this washer. outer washer broke is all. Yep. It's, if you look up in there, you can stick the camera up in there. It's still, it's right there. It's still there. She's trying to come loose though, ain't she? Yep. Who are we? I'm glad I saw that. Yeah, that's, a, that's, they really don't have no side to side pressure on them though. It's just vibrating, it, I guess. It's that or it's just the, the twist on it or I, I don't... I may have to pick those up just a hair because... Nay. I can kind of see it. Uh, let me see that for a second. Can you give me a, a hammer, just like the yellow handled one? Oh, look. I can do this and you're going to be able to just hammer it right out. And hammer it, it, it... Yep, I got it. I got it centered up right there. All right. Ow. Ow, that hurt. You want to steal a screwdriver or something? Ow. Now I'm just saying ow. Uh, <laughs> the first one did hurt <laughs> a little. Can, can you get a skinny uh, long screwdriver? Doesn't have to be real long, but it, a skinny one might go under. Yeah. I keep that camera. <laughs> Come on with it. Keep coming. Never mind. Nigga. Oh yeah. We're oh. How about that for WD-40 in the face? <laughs> At least that's all it was. Oh. <laughs> Look at there. No. We're on the road to recovery, man. Hey, it's already fixed. I'll just put it back down. Let's go. Let's ride. I got work to do. We'll weld that put, it, put a cotter key in it. We'll weld, there you go. weld it solid. <laughs> well, yeah, weld the pin solid. Need to take that off. This is going to be easier than I thought. For whatever reason, that little thing sheared off of there. Somehow. Good thing I noticed it because it was slowly wiggling its way. Eventually, it was just going to fall out. All the freaking rust that I see in there, I'm going to say that it was never a very good weld. And uh, it just broke because that is all freaking rusted. So, probably just poor welding to start with. That should work. We should be able to just weld that on there, get all this cleaned up, ground up a little bit. Should be able to just weld that in there. That's what we're gonna do today anyway. Ouch, ouch, just a 
little bit. <clears throat> Try to help with my turn again, so I'm. Oh, jeez. I happens? don't need this thing falling off tomorrow, See Steve. what happens when you're bullshitting? <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. It happens. She's a little blotchy, but we're going to blame it on the wind. Uh, right, it, Steve? Yes, sir. And, and every good welder carries a grinder, right? No, just a standard. No grinder. No, 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 no grinder. We got her fixed. I'm happy.